This is Heather. So it's the day after the veg fest, and um, I'm finally home. I got to recoup yesterday. As you saw in my previous videos, it was super crowded. Um, I took pictures of so many people and uh, a few videos um, with this camera mainly, and uh, a couple with my Canon, but then turns out that the sound didn't get recorded somehow, so that's going to be awesome. I'm going to have to figure out what the hell I was trying to say. But anyway, so I promised you guys a haul bag of everything, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, there's a few things in the fridge that I couldn't bring up, but um, those are worth mentioning for sure. But just to show you, I became a member of the Northwest Veg Festival, and that's really good. It was only 20 bucks for the basic membership. Uh, if you do 35 or over, I think you get like a subscription to Veg News or a vegan fitness magazine. And um, they give you a whole letter with, you know, saying thank you, your membership card, and of course, a buttload of discounts. I mean, like 10 to 20% off a lot of these places. And um, if not, you get like buy one free or mentions, and all these people support them. So, yeah. Uh, and they give you a like whole guide to like raw thing. They gave me a coupon to a vegan cruise, which was like 75 bucks off or something. They give you a whole bunch of recipes. Manitoba Harvest actually gave me quite a few things. Got all these different recipes. Oregon Chad, yummy. Mmm, look at this. It's like a postcard, but anyway. So much stuff. Ooh, quickie quesadilla. I actually won a tub of beans from these guys for liking their social media. So if you can get into that, Adam, check out their check them out. It's better bean. <laughs> and by the way, I'm not getting any endorsement by mentioning these people. I'm just showing off all the goodies I got. So, um, then let's see, going on to teas. Yogi this has this little samplers and also to Chino. Got some corn thins, like little munchies dogs. Hold on. Okay, and we're back. I apologize if you see some cut in the video. It's just we are babysitting dogs today and they can bark a lot. So I apologize beforehand. So um, yeah. This, uh, I was kind enough to meet um, the close-knit group that um, works for Bean Fields. And um, they are a really awesome company. And I actually was gifted with this bag because of how awesome they are and just I just think we got along pretty well and um yeah Beanfields, check them out, Ranch, this tastes just like the equivalent to um Doritos Cool Ranch but it's healthier, it's vegan, it's amazing it has 6 grams of fiber, 5 grams of protein yes and um yeah, I took some photos of them, so I'm going to tag them on my Instagram and uh, maybe Facebook. And they were so awesome. I, oh, there were so many samples. There was foods, juices, beauty products, fashion stuff. It was amazing. Um, moving on to more munchies. Benito's was actually in the bag, and I just found it pretty funny because Benito's and Beanfields are pretty much competition. I tried these. These are pretty good. Um... But apparently it's owned by a bigger corporation, not really family owned. And I don't know, they, they're they okay, they just don't seem as approachable as Bean Fields. These guys have definitely won a place in my heart, so big shout out to you guys. Also, they, these guys have Nacho Ranch, these guys do not have ranch, so they kind of have an advantage. Anyway, moving on, I got, they gave me so many... Uh, 
bars, like, you know. I actually bought this one in the morning, so this is mine. Lara Bar is pretty good. It, this is Lara Bar, it's just super basic. It's just like totally unprocessed. All it is is usually dates, almonds, and unsweetened fruit, or just usually vanilla or cashews. Um, this one, this one I bought as well. That The guy is so amazing. It's made in uh, Washington. And their website is getchia.com. All it is is uh, apple. This one is apple puree, apple concentrate, chia seeds, and raspberry concentrate. It was like a Fruit Loop, but with omegas. This is so good. I have to find them and order like a billion. <laughs> and let's see more. Oh, okay. So hemp hearts gave me two things in the grab bag. These are great. I haven't tried these yet, but I know a lot of people swear by them. Apparently, you can use them in salad, cereal, yogurt, etc. So, and they have a lot of omegas and omega sixes and mag manganese and uh, but yeah, all this good stuff right here. So, yeah. And then by them also is a hemp heart bar. Which, as you see, I think they have three flavors. I checked them out. These retail for about three, three dollars, and you can get a pack of like twenty-five or twenty-nine of them. So I thought that was pretty good. I looked all the prices up. So definitely, it was everything I got in the grab bag was worth it. And I'll tell you why. Because at the very end, they gave me something that is almost worth alone just that money. But that's coming in a sec. Um. Let's see, what other bars? Okay, we got the Go Macro Bar. I have not tried this yet. It is vegan, macrobiotic, gluten-free. It's uh, brown rice, oats, cherries, almond, dates, sunflower, more rice, raisins. So similar to the uh, like hemp and lara bar, but all together. Then we have the Ernest Eats Almond Trail Mix. Have not tried this either. It says four grams of fiber, wheat free, vegan. So, and then the Health Warrior Chia Bar, acai berry. Uh, haven't tried this either. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. But it seems pretty similar to the fruit chia one. I will compare these. Then little snacky snack, like literally a pinch of beans. Snack out loud, bean snack. It's like. Really, I could just, it, what, <laughs> this is like almost plain food, <laughs> better than nothing though, right? Go raw, crunchies, crunch, sprouted cookies, all right, hmm. and I got this little chocolate thing, it's called Pumpkin Spice by Sajax, uh, yeah, I don't know, check out their website, I need to, too. But this was so good. It was like a chocolate. It was like a Reese's Pieces. But instead of peanut butter, it was chocolate and then pumpkin, like, caramel spice in the middle. And I'm pretty sure it was vegan because almost all of these things, like 95%, were vegan at um, the Veg Fest, obviously. There was uh, this one vegetarian item, the tofu spread. That, I read, did have eggs, so I kind of avoided that just to stay true. Puppies. Um, ooh, and then Bragg's, our sent an amino nutritional yeast thing, olive oil, and then some other seasoning stuff. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, sea kelp, uh, herb sprinkle, and yeah, nutritional yeast. That's cool. I have most of Bragg's stuff. Oh, and their apple cider vinegar, which they gave me a little pamphlet explaining the benefits of apple cider vinegar which I could make an entire video just on that but it's definitely good it alkalinizes your body there's probiotics um, obviously you have to dilute it like one to two tablespoons in a big ass glass of water like eight to ten ounces um, it helps you lose weight it helps you be you know regular it helps with uh, yeast infections I could go on and on but yeah check it out oh and it has to be raw or with the mother for it to be benefit because if it's distilled they kind of take the probiotics out in the strings but anyway if you want 
Let me know in the comments if I should do a video about that, or if not, feel free to Google it. Moving on. Uh, got this little bookmark. I actually took a picture of this guy. He's super cute, and this novel is about animals trying to say, hey, help us not get, you know, hurt and tortured and stuff, and it's really cute. Um, and then, yeah, animals are trying to get to humans, and then humans are trying to help the animals, and then they, like, talk back, and anyway, that's pretty much what I got. I hope I'm not misrepresenting Mr. Chris, but it says right here, for anyone who loved the intensity of the Hunger Games, the social commentary of the jungle, and the heart of Charlotte's Web, this will be your new favorite book, and he was really nice. Also, I was fortunate enough to meet Robert Cheek. Uh, he's the author of Shredded Up, and he's a big, uh, big influence on the vegan community. Um, you know, he's that bodybuilder with the glasses, blonde. Anyway, I took a picture with him and got to meet him, so. Not with him, but I actually took a picture of him. <laughs> so, maybe I'll, um, squeeze in some photos in the video, or if not, check my Instagram feed. Or, uh, Facebook, if you do follow me. Or Twitter, although I don't. I've been neglecting my Twitter lately. But um, anyway, yes, and last but not least, actually pause, almost last. I forgot to mention Dr. Bronner's also gave me a few samples of uh, lotion, soap, and like body wash, tiny little samples, kind of like this big. So yes, now, last, last, almost worth the entire membership alone. This goes for 10 bucks. They gave me an entire 8 ounce bottle of clarifying body wash by Acure. And it is pyramid and lilac stem cell it, with argan oil and the COQ10. And it says it's vegan, paraben free, sulfate free, cruelty free, gluten free, no synthetic fragrance, and 100% biodegradable. I usually use Nature's Gate and Kiss My Face and uh, Dr. Bronner's or um, other doctor soap castile soap and um just really basic stuff but hey who am i gonna say no to this and it says um this helps with breakouts it says it helps keep blemishes and dark spots at bay with energizing clarifying body wash lilac stem cells are shown to help reduce breakouts and imperfection while sea buckthorn coq10 and argan oil help your skin be soft and ultra hydrated so it has a bunch of cool ingredients so i'm gonna check this out and get back to you and um yes hopefully you enjoyed my video and stay tuned for photos and maybe some more videos and thank you so much for watching and uh yeah add me on instagram or chat me up on facebook and um pass the word and let me know if you want to know a specific subject. I, um, I do love holistic nutrition. I am not currently certified yet, but I do, uh, do some work on Fiverr offering, uh, meal plans. Um, also I've been doing a lot of film work lately with people doing shorts and some photography, uh, extra work. So I'm all over the place. I have a part-time job now and I'm just looking to get another one. So feel like I'm rounding right now but just want to update everyone um yes and I just remembered if you're wondering about my hat it's actually cat ears they go up and I remember just as I was exiting the um convention center this guy apparently French <laughs> walked up to me and said ne chapeau and I'm like thank you and he's like, do you know what Chapeau is? And I'm like, no, what is Chapeau? And he's like, take a guess. And I'm like, smile? No, he's like, no, take another guess. I'm like, okay, what is it? He's like, you want it? I'm like, yes. He's like, hat. I'm like, oh, thank you. And so then we just chatting with a French guy. Which, by the way, hopefully Paris recovers. Sorry to hear about that. All of a sudden, it's just, boom, global news. So, yes. Paris with Paris. Alrighty, so I don't want to make this video gloom. <laughs> so anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and feel free to chat me up or connect with me. That'd be great.
All right, have a good day. Bye.